Hey everyone, welcome back to BDG Reviews. We got tonight's review of Happy Death Day. This, this, this... You know what? We'll go over the plot first. Uh, Blumhouse produces this original and inventive rewinding thriller in which a blissfully self-centered co-ed is doomed to relive the day of her murder unless she can identify the masked assailant and hopefully stop the madness. If she can't, she'll be stuck in an insane loop, reliving a ghoulish nightmare that has become her death day. So that's the plot. I missed out on this in the theater. Honestly, um, I don't know why. I was going to go see it. I just never got around to it. I regret it because I, f I really like this movie. You know, I, honestly, I got to say, this is probably one of the top ten horror movies of 2017 you know it was thoroughly enjoyable and what I really dug about it was the fact that you know they the whole idea with like a groundhog groundhog's day type movie is you get the character who's usually like like not a good person and then they they grow as the day keeps repeating until they get like to be a better person or whatever and that's your basic plot here you know sh the thing is, though, the chick starts off com completely toxic. You genuinely don't like any part of her. You know, you, you think she's just a complete bitch. And then, you know, she grows as, as it goes along. And you find yourself actually liking the character by the end. Which is really neat. I mean... I don't usually fall for stuff like that, you know? Usually it's just like, like, I find it a bit annoying. But this, I found, it was, it seemed an organic um, evolution of a character. You know, from horrible person to, you know, kind of kick-ass and cool. You know? So I really like that. Also, I like the idea of using the, the Groundhog's Day type thing as a horror trope. It works really well, and I like the idea also that she, right from the beginning, realized something was up. You know, she got killed the first time. The second time, right away, she was like, something's not quite right here. You know, and she caught on a lot faster than, you know, I've seen it done before in other stuff. You know, and I, re I really like that. <laughs> Acting-wise, I had no problem with any of the actors in this. It was thoroughly enjoyable. They all they all seemed pretty damn believable, honestly. And I really liked it. Um, my one gripe with the movie is the, is the main character's name. Like, her name is Tree. Now, who the hell names her kid Tree? Honestly. Now, you know... You can name your kid whatever you want, honestly. No, like, I'm not going to stop you. But <laughs> it, it took me out a bit. They're like, oh, it's it's Tree. And I'm like, Tree? What is this? Some, like, hippie kumbaya relationship movie or something? I don't know. It, I didn't like the name. But other than that, really solid flick. Um, from what I know, I've heard they might be... Considering doing, like, a sequel, and apparently it's going to be some kind of, like, Back to the Future type thing, which could be kind of cool. We'll see. Um, but honestly, if they just left it at this one movie, I'd be fine with it, because uh, it's actually pretty good. You know, it's a good standalone flick. It honestly, it doesn't need a sequel. So, yeah. For a rating, i got to give it a 9 out of 10. I'm thoroughly impressed with this movie. You know, and the fact that it's, like, uh, PG-13, you know, it works. I'm not usually a fan of PG-13 horror, but this is one that does it right. So, yeah, 9 out of 10. Uh, the Blu-ray's pretty decent as well. Not loaded with features. It has uh, an alternate ending behind the scenes, and, and, you know, that's really it. You know, it's it's not super loaded, but, you know... I got this for, I think it was, it was under 20 bucks, I know that. And it was worth every penny. Yeah, so, happy death day. 9 out of 10. Great stuff. 
Uh, yeah, also got a link down below to uh, my Patreon and uh, to buy merch. If you feel like buying a t-shirt, you know, thanks. If you feel like joining the Patreon, thanks even more. Uh, just help out the channel a bit, you know, maybe at some point, maybe upgrade the camera. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. <laughs> see you next time.